A couple of years ago when I was working on the memoir, um, I was thinking about some time that I spent back in the 1970s working on a cattle ranch and, uh, in western South Dakota. And um, I was doing things that you wouldn't normally associate with cowboying, like midwifing cows, and uh, you can understand what that might be, and, uh, but also building haystacks. Um, all that's in this poem. I'm just going to read the one. The poem's called Haystacks Like Bread. Years later, the haystacks I learned to build with a tractor and hydraulic fork had shrunk to crusty lumps, like a village of thatched hovels among the ragged stalks of fireweed and hollyhocks by the corral fence. No eyes, no brain, no beating heart, yet they were alive. Snakes, mice, dung beetles, ticks, mites, bacteria, and mold inside the dried and faded hides. Yes, and pungent hay, green alfalfa, yellowed timothy, red clover stems and flowers, faded blue. Gathered after the mower and the rake onto long steel fingers of the ample apron on the old John Deere, lifted high and laid in the tangled yeasty crosshatch of one another's arms. They rose like bread dough into compact architecture like houses, stables, barns. They were my churches, loaves and fishes for cattle, gathered at the long white tables of frigid winter. Not spent, in time become field museums for the shadow of the red-tailed hawk skating over the creek bottom, for funereal buzzards come to pace their stubble dooryards, alert to the reek of dead field mouse, rattlesnake, brooding prairie hen, or cottontail, eviscerated by the 20 knives of the mower's clattering arm. Museums, too, for the whine of mosquitoes, noxious clouds of fireweed pollen, echoes of prairie dog whistle, hornets fizz and sting, for drews of soon-to-be calving cows, lather of the neighbor's daughter's horse at pounding gallop, for cackle of a solitary cottonwood in the calculating wind, for bull spunk and coyote jawbone, antelope skull, smoke of fur and flesh off a steer calf bawling under the branding iron. Chambered and shuttered concert halls for songs I howled of the tractor's roar as I gathered stem, strand, and flower to lift and lave and invest with my own jubilant curses, wild promises, regrets, and misremembered names. Thank you. Thank you.